All right. I love this show for a lot of reasons. I get a lot of free stuff from NBC. Um, and I, I love doing this program every day. We have a great environment here. But I think my favorite, uh, favorite thing about this job is I get to talk to fascinating people from all walks of life, entertainers, athletes, politicians. They come out, they sit right in this chair right here, old Bessie Lou, I call this chair. And, uh, and I get to, no I don't. And then I, I, get to, I get to chat with them and talk to them. The problem is they're never here long enough for me to really get to know them. What's an interview last? Five minutes, six, then they're gone. And I always want to know more about them. I really do. So I decided to mail out a questionnaire to America's biggest stars. Just on my own. I came up with some questions. I mailed it out. I didn't think I'd hear from very many people. A surprising number of famous people responded to the quiz. Tonight, we're going to show you their answers in a segment we call Celebrity Survey. Celebrity Survey. All right, now this will be... Here's how the uh, survey works. We asked three celebrities to complete a phrase, all right? Our first phrase was, the nomination of Judge Alito will be, Senator Joe Biden wrote, a more difficult process than that of John Roberts. Tom Brokaw wrote, a heated display of partisan politics. President George W. Bush wrote, the best Harry Potter movie yet. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Harry becomes on the Supreme Court. I'll never love anyone the way I love... I'll never love anyone the way I love. Gwyneth Paltrow wrote, my daughter. That's nice. Kate Hudson wrote, my son. Kirstie Alley wrote, Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> when I saw Brokeback Mountain, I... <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. Uh, Katie Couric wrote, cried, which is very nice, yeah. Tom Hanks wrote, felt there was a new Oscar favorite. Which is good. Clay Aiken wrote, wondered who read my diary. <laughs> that was me in high school, yeah. <laughs> my first crush was, Mandy Moore wrote, Matthew Finer, the boy next door. Brian Williams wrote, Mrs. Fitzgerald, my third grade teacher. Larry King wrote, Anat, the Pharaoh's daughter. <laughs> Six is, Donald Rumsfeld wrote, an important year for Iraq. John McCain wrote, an opportunity to refocus on domestic issues. Nicole Richie wrote, my target weight. <laughs> well, which is it, horror or approval? I don't know now. <laughs> the worst gift I got this year was John Mayer wrote a sweater. <laughs> Kenny G wrote my latest album. <laughs> Stevie Wonder wrote, I can't tell, but it feels like Kenny G's latest <laughs> album. It's got that Kenny G feel to it. The greatest invention over the past few years has been, Roger Ebert wrote TiVo, <laughs> Alan Alda wrote the iPod, Dick Cheney wrote the link between Saddam and 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, Heavy Handed Joke was brought to you by Nakashita Heavy Hands, making heavy steel hands since 1892. Back to you, Conan. Thank you. I've always based my career on the assumption that Matthew Broderick wrote, you can do what you love most. Johnny Depp wrote, different is good. Tony Danza wrote, this has to appeal to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Oh. <clears throat> Nicely done, Conan. <laughs> Nicely done. And finally, this is nice, I'll become a mother when. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston wrote, I've found my soulmate. Salma Hayek wrote, I'm mature enough to handle the responsibility. Paris Hilton wrote, the condom breaks. <laughs> and, uh, I think we...
Everybody, we'll take a little break. Uh, stick around. When we come back. Seth Green is here. He's a good man.